welcome class 7th class 7th we were doing chapter 4 light and today we are going to continue same chapter that is chapter light children as you know that in this chapter till now we have studied that what is light how does light enables us to see different objects around us then we have also studied that what is reflection yes and how many types of reflections are there on the basis of the nature of the surface of reflection so children today we are going to study terms related to reflection and laws of reflection now children as you know that what is reflection bouncing back of light after striking a smooth polished surface yes this i have already taught you children that when on a smooth polished surface a light ray falls or you can say when a light ray incident on the smooth polished surface it strikes the reflecting surface this surface and then bounces back or you can say after striking it returns back in the same medium okay and this is known as your reflection right so children light reflects from all the smooth polished surface yes that is why reflection is divided into two part regular reflection and irregular reflection and you also know that irregular reflection is also known as diffuse reflection now children we are going to study here few terms related to reflection okay now can you name few surfaces which uh, causes which cause regular reflection yes like your mirror mirror cause which type of reflection regular reflection reason mirror is a smooth polished surface right same way smooth and still water surface they are also uh, they also cause which reflection regular reflection so here you can see an example where a mirror piece is there yes and on this mirror piece which ray of light is incident incident means a ray of light which is falling on the surface so suppose this is the ray of light which is falling on the surface and as soon as it falls on the surface you can see that it strikes back or you can say that it bounces back in the same medium yes so children we are going to study few terms related to reflection that what these terms are called okay now when reflection takes place the very first ray which falls on the reflecting surface is known as your incident ray okay now before starting with incident ray let me explain you what is reflecting surface reflecting surface any surface which send back the light falling on to it into the same medium is called reflecting surface like your mirror is your reflecting surface because if any light falls on this mirror it strikes back or you can say uh, when the light falls on this medium it bounces back the light again yes in the same medium so this mirror is your reflecting surface because it causes reflection it causes reflection okay now children the very first term which is related to reflection is your incident ray what is incident ray the ray of light falling on the surface okay or you can say the ray of light falling on the reflecting surface now you can see you can see this arrow also you can see this arrow yes you can see this arrow so this ray of light is falling on the surface yes so whichever the ray of light which falls on any surface okay that ray of light is known as your incident ray do remember a ray of light falling on any surface is known as your which ray incident ray incident ray means the coming ray or the ray which falls on the surface 
okay so this is your incident ray now as you know that when ray of light coming from the in coming from any source of light it falls on reflecting surface after striking the surface it bounces back you can see the air light is going in this direction arrow is there it bounces back in the same medium yes so that ray of light with which bounces back in the same medium after reflection or you can say after incident ray which falls on the reflecting surface it bounces back that bounced back light is known as your reflected ray so what is your reflected ray this is your reflected ray yes this is your reflected ray so what is reflected ray the incident ray bouncing back in the same medium after striking the reflecting surface so you can see that this ray bounces when this ray incident ray falls here then same ray strikes the mirror surface at point p and then it's the same ray bounces back in the same medium so when this ray is bouncing back that time this ray is known as reflected ray i hope it is clear to you and what is reflecting surface this mirror piece is your reflecting surface what is reflecting surface any surface which send backs the light ray or light ray falling on its surface in the same medium means this mirror bounces back the light rays which falls on uh, this surface okay now children another term which is related to reflection is your point of incidence point of incidence point p now this point this dotted point you can see here this dotted point is your point of incidence and what is this point of incidence the ray of light sorry the point on the mirror surface where incident ray strikes and reflected ray bounces off now children point of incidence is that point point of incidence this point p is that point where the incident ray strikes on the mirror strikes means it touches the mirror okay wherever the incident ray strikes on this mirror the point where the incident ray touches that mirror and from that same point it bounces back in the same medium that point is known as your point of incidence you can see children here point p is your point of incidence this dot one can you see i have made this dot dot so this dotted point is the point where the incident ray touches this mirror or you can say the incident ray falls on that point of incidence and from that same point it gets bounces back it again get bounces back or you can say it again returns back in the same medium so point p is your point of incidence where the reflected ray kaun si ray reflected ray comes when it touches the surface so that point is known as your point of incidence uh, and from that same point the incident ray gets reflected back or you can say it bounces back okay so this point is common same point okay now the normal ray it is a line drawn perpendicular to the reflecting surface at the point of incidence okay now children as you know whenever we make perpendicular we make like this i don't know you know this or not but one sleeping line and over that we make one standing line this is the symbol for perpendicular that this line is perpendicular to this sleeping line means it is for perpendicular means it is forming 90 degree angle this side also it is forming 90 degree and this side also if it is forming 90 degree angle okay so whenever we draw a symbol like this straight line and then another standing line over this so it means this line suppose if i name op so this line is perpendicular to ab means op is op is perpendicular to ab yes perpendicular means this these two other rays here also 90 degree and this side also 90 degree okay so we perpendicular line or we also say normal okay so this normal ray is a line drawn perpendicular to the reflecting surface at the point of incidence 
now children this normal ray is not actually there we consider a, a normal ray as a imaginary line okay incident ray is there reflected ray is there but this normal ray we consider a imaginary line which is falling perpendicularly on the surface you can say this is a sleeping line this mirror is the sleeping line and over this a normal for normal falls perpendicular to the surface yes so this ray of line this is normal to this mirror okay and this is a imaginary line imaginary means this line does not exist but we imagine that there is a normal ray which exists between incident ray and reflected ray okay and why do we consider this reason you will get later on so normal ray is a which line it is a imaginary perpendicular line drawn at the point of incidence to the reflecting surface so here you can see this normal ray yes this is your normal ray yes now angle of incidence that is angle i what is angle of incidence so angle of incidence is the angle between incident ray and normal normal ray okay the angle which is formed between incident ray and normal is known as your angle of incidence and it is represented by small letter i okay so what is angle of incidence angle of incidence it is not incident it is incidence okay it is incidence angle of incidence is the angle between normal ray and incident ray okay now and it is represented by small letter i this is your angle of you know we represent the symbol for angle like this so this is your angle of incidence that is angle i now angle of reflection what is angle of reflection the angle of reflection is the angle between the normal ray and reflected ray okay so i hope it is clear to you and it is represented by angle of reflection is represented by small r so this is your angle of reflection okay so i hope children it is clear to you so just imagine like this that suppose this is the reflecting surface or how do we re uh, represent the mirror on the paper this is suppose mirror and this is the back side of the mirror in your book you have seen the diagram like this and suppose if any ray is incident on the surface of the mirror so you know mirror is a reflect uh, the surface of the mirror is a reflecting surface so if any ray uh, strikes on this mirror uh, mirror surface suppose like this so what uh, what does it means it will also reflect back or you can say it will bounce back like this yes and which line we consider we consider imaginary line okay we also consider imaginary line that is known as your normal okay and this is your incident ray this is your reflected ray and the angle normal line does not exist but we consider it consider it as okay and which angle exists between incident ray and normal angle of incidence i and which angle exists between reflected ray and normal angle of reflection so i hope children suppose again i am repeating this is a plane mirror any rays incidenting on the surface that is your incident ray so it will reflect back also which line we consider imaginary line normal yes and this is angle i this is angle r so i hope this is clear to you and all the terms related to reflection is also clear to you okay now children coming to next topic that is your laws of reflection now what is laws of reflection children children laws of reflection is very important okay and this is law means something which is based on true facts so you can say something which is based on after experiment okay and it is it holds it always hold true okay laws of reflection always holds true matlab ye hamesha sahi hota hai aur aisa hi hota it is always true so what is laws of reflection which rules are followed during laws of reflection these are the two rules which are followed during laws of reflection or you can say during reflection 
and children for exam purpose also it is very important now you can see the diagram just see the diagram the ray which is coming the ray which is coming that is your falling ray that is your incident ray you can see it is incidenting at the point of incidence and then it is reflected back means it is bounced back in the same medium yes so this is your incident ray this is your reflected ray and the, this is your normal okay and this is your angle of incidence i this is your angle of reflection small r right now children according to this law children please do listen it very carefully this law is very very important for your exam purpose or you can say it is very important now what is the first statement of laws of reflection the angle of incidence is always equals to angle of reflection children just make it very clear that always and always during reflection angle of incidence you can see here angle of incidence angle of incidence that is angle i is always equals to angle r angle i is always equals to angle r means angle of incidence is always equals to angle of reflection okay so whenever the reflection means whenever the reflection is taking place that time the angle of incidence is always equals to angle of reflection okay now what is the next statement it means angle i is this is angle i so and this is angle r so suppose if angle i is 40 degree angle of incidence kya hota hai angle this is your normal and this is your incident ray so uh, angle form between normal and incident ray is your angle of incidence so this reflected ray or the ray which is bounced back it will also form the same angle that is angle of reflection will be also 40 degree means angle of incidence is always and always equals to angle of reflection now which is the next statement the incident ray the reflected ray and the normal all lie in the same plane okay so this is the second statement all lie in the same plane means they lie at same plane ek hi plane mein they lie okay so then another statement is that the incident ray the reflected ray and the normal they all lie in the same plane so this diagram is also very important children and these two laws are also important what is the first statement of the law the angle of incidence is always equals to angle of reflection you have to learn this okay and what is the next statement the incident ray the reflected ray and the normal they all lie in the same plane so i hope children it is clear to you okay if you have any doubt do comment me